Relentless drama, captivating subplots, and only one goalless draw throughout the tournament. Russia 2018 exceeded expectations and will undoubtedly go down as a major success. Barely a day seemed to pass without some team snatching a crucial goal in the dying moments, adding excitement to the tournament, or prompting wild scenes of celebrations on and off the pitch. Cristiano Ronaldo's last gasp equalising Portugal's thrill draw with Spain was one of the highlights of the early matches. Despite the Portuguese star's heroics, his side exited the tournament in the last 16 alongside Lionel Messi's Argentina, stopped in their tracks by a rejuvenated French team, epitomised by a star in the making, 19-year-old Kylian Mbappé. You have to keep that childlike spirit and always play as if you're in the school playground. Of course, you need to have a certain level of discipline, but that's something else. You have to hold on to that inner child. France's 4-2 triumph over a resilient Croatian side in the showpiece match was at the fitting end to a thrilling World Cup. Luka Modric's team matured throughout the tournament, denying England their first appearance in a World Cup final since 1966, but they eventually faltered when they were confronted with the perfectly drilled French side. Didier Deschamps, captain of the 1998 French team, became the third man to lift the prestigious accolade, both as a player and a coach, following in the footsteps of Brazil's Mario Zagallo and Germany's Franz Beckenbauer. The 50-year-old had received a lot of criticism in previous years for leaving out big names, but his ability to mould his squad socially as well as tactically eventually paid off to the delight of the French supporters. There was that same excitement as in 98, but we were all a lot younger then. Now, with hindsight, there is a general feeling of freedom in France and a strong desire for this victory to lead us forward and to progress. We were all happy and this united us. I think it was something that gave us so much pleasure as Frenchmen, and this makes me very proud. Central to Didier Deschamps' handling of the team has been maintaining unity and using ethnic diversity as a force in a country that continues to work through social issues. Scintillating football, packed stadiums, political tensions and hooligan problems which never materialised, Russia has undoubtedly earned the respect of world football by staging one of the most exciting tournaments to date. Now, will the next World Cup in Qatar spark more jubilant scenes in Paris, or will another nation rise to the occasion? Whoever wins, expects more drama and more passion on and off the pitch. Andy Rubini for Euronews in Paris.